up here in Mozambique fishing out of Baboon Point camp and I had the privilege to do a nice little light tackle fishing session with my dad. It's one of those trips that you don't seldom get where you can spend some quality time with your dad and just go and enjoy the sport we all love. So it was a nice little light outfit I fished with. I like this little outfit very much. It's a regiment, two to five ounce rod, the 15 foot. The way fishing has evolved over the last few years, we end up fishing with braid and coffee grinders. We've sort of set the benchmark and I think 15 foot is a comfortable size rod for me. It suits my length, my build, and I fish very comfortable with it. So for me personally, this is a very, very nice size rod. I paired this rod up with a new Spin Fisher 7500. It's a solid reel, it's strong. Once again, we're spending a lot of time in the water, we're doing wading, so we're winding underwater. Sometimes when there's a big wave coming, you're fighting a fish, water splash onto it, and this is a bulletproof reel. It's solid, it's strong, and then again, it's got this beautiful drag that can handle any good fish. So that's my reel, and then I'm fishing with a new Spiderwire Ultra Cast. It's a nice smooth braid. This is the 50 pound. I, I like it a lot. Um, it casts very well. I found that in the reefs, it's quite strong. It, I had no problems being cut off on the braid itself. I had a few fish actually going over the reef where I had to hold it and force it out. And it really impressed me. It was very strong, very smooth, and casts very well. So all in all, very nice outfit. And as I say, this is my sort of go-to outfit when I end up fishing the reefs. We call it scratching for your smaller fish to medium-sized fish. But then again, I know if I'm hoping to a big fish, I'll have the power in this setup to land it comfortably. All right, so the area we fished was a section where there's a lot of scattered reef in the water with patches of sand in between. So we knew we'd find our reef species there. We decided to fish with little chocker baits, um, nice little chocker baits imitating squid. And I was still busy baiting up, my dad went in, he cast it, and it wasn't long, and I was turned around and he was buckling with a decent fish. I dropped everything to help him because he just had a shoulder up recently and he was even casting left. I didn't even think he was throwing in the zone. He must have landed five meters from the side. But he hooked the fish and ended up with a nice bonus fish to start the session. Session here, and he hooked into a very nice fish. Let's bring him down, so I'm gonna grab it quickly. targeting species like Matahari, Speckled Snapper, Stumpy, your rock hard species. There's a variety of species we, we fish for. Um, I think my dad's second cast, he hooked into a bit of a surprise fish. We know they're in the area, but we never expected to catch one and he landed a beautiful springer, uh, his personal best. I was throwing a red eye cutlet bait with a bit of uh, float on it. When you're fishing areas where the water is very clean, I like to fish late afternoon into the evening. I just found those fish start getting active 
in that late afternoon period as it gets dark. And if you're lucky enough and you still got a pushing tide as well, it's just a double bonus and you know you can get a few decent bites. So edible fish, you really gotta pull quite hard sometimes to get them out of the reef. And uh, very feisty fish, these strong. And this little light setup, fishing with very, very nice fish. Let's see if we get this one. It seems like I've got this one out of the reef, and so now I can calm down a bit. Local reef species here in Mozambique, very strong, lovely fish to catch. We're going to do cut, get it back in the water quickly, they die quite quickly, these fish, so I'm not going to keep them up for much longer. But uh, fun fish to catch, beautiful fish, and uh, made my afternoon. What we were targeting, we we're looking for our reef species, speckled snapper, stumpies, matahari, russell snapper. There's a big variety of fish up here in Mozambique, but those were the species we we're after and hoping to catch. Here's a little fish, not as big as the last one, but a fish near the list. We're scratching the bricks, we're scratching the bricks, you take what you can get. Just getting dark, and that was literally as I landed that little fish grabbed me. And in Mozambique, when you do this type of fishing, it's best to do it just as it gets dark, then these fish get active. Well, there's another species on our list for the edible session. This is a green spot kingy. Nice little feisty fish as well. It was a nice little two, two and a half hour session I had with my dad. I personally loved it. It's always nice spending time with him. As time goes on and we get older, we don't have enough time to spend with our parents. And for me personally, it was a nice little session having to fish with him and also see him catch one of his personal best. Especially when he's been fishing for the last 40 years, to see him get another personal best just made me very happy. Okay, goodbye my boy. 